Hello Kaggle, my name is Wei and uh, welcome to my Kaggle X showcase. Um, my project is about uh, house price prediction. It's an ongoing competition in the Kaggle and this is also my first ever Kaggle project. My first you know, notebook submission as well. So the project is mainly about exploratory data analysis and uh, machine learning building. Um, just a bit about myself, I am a current data scientist based in Melbourne, Australia. I work for the state government, specifically the Auditor General's office. So we do have a lot of data sets, especially government data sets. Um, previously, I was a data analyst in a healthcare not-for-profit organization. And before that, I was a nurse in the hospital. So I do have a range of skills, including, you know, some practical healthcare knowledge and skills, as well as um, data skills like Python, SQL, and some BI tools. Um, but I've never actually built a machine learning from scratch. And the knowledge about machine learning I learned is all from back when I was doing my master's degree in statistics. So yeah, personally, I'm very, very grateful for this opportunity for Kaggle to, for this mentorship program. And it sort of, it not just uh, provide me a lot of um, assistance, but also it's, a, it's a, like a prompt me to get started in this, you know, Kaggle space. Um, I have a huge interest in healthcare, so I often watch new healthcare competitions launched in Kaggle. So I'm going to give it a go in the future as well. Um, my project. So it's a pretty straightforward project about predicting house prices based on, you know, 80 features. So I've learned, so the main thing I've learned is the, you know, the whole process of you know, exploring, cleaning the data, exploring the data, creating a predictive model and make prediction and submit the prediction. Um, you know, and also a lot of time was spent on data pre-processing, as you might, you probably won't be surprised. Um, so it's been very valuable to me. Uh, I'll just go to a bit of details. So we, I had a 40, for, uh, so 80 descriptive features and it's a combination of categorical features and numeric features and a lot of them have missing values and I remember four features had like 80 percent more than 80 percent missing values so originally I thought you know if it's a high proportion of missing values we we just not use that column but when I was exploring each missing values a bit more in detail, I realized that they are actually good indicators of the house price. Um, I, so I did, I created a for loop looking at the house price for, you know, for the missing, for those with missing values and the house price for those without missing value. And they are quite significantly different for quite a lot of columns. So an example is there's a column called pool, swimming pool quality. So I imagine a lot of houses do not have swimming pool. So if it has missing values, it probably doesn't have swimming pool. And that's a good indicator, you know, you know houses with, with swimming pool would naturally be more expensive than those without. So I decided to keep um, those columns. So in the end, I dis I've decided I explored each columns with missing value and find the best way that I thought to impute them. Some were imputed with mode, some were imputed with the median, and some were in if they you know if the columns also related to another column, I would impute it with based on the other columns find the best median. So anyway. Um, also, some others are imputed, but with not available. So after that imputation, uh, I've also looked at the target features. 
and you can see that it was pretty much right skewed. Then with the log function, I've made it more, you know, normally distributed. And same with the descriptive features, uh, quite a few of them were transformed because they're very, very skewed. So I use the box cox transformation for that. Um, so yeah, in the end, after all the data cleaning and pre-processing is done, I was able to use my model. The only reason I use the random forest regressor is I was very familiar with it, uh, but I do have learned some, some other models like gradient boosting model. So, um, so for this submission, I've only used the random forest, calculated the um, root mean squared error, which is the metric I use for this project. So for the future, I will use some other model and um, to try find the best model. Um, anyway, it's, um, it's a simple project, but when I saw my name in the leaderboard, I was so proud. It gave me a huge this encouragement to continue more Kaggle projects. So really, really grateful for this. Thank you.